now from this lecture we are going to start developing the mern application we all know mern is a combination of mongodb express.js react and node we learned the basics of all these languages in the previous lectures now we need to implement and use these languages and create a simple mern application so we're going to use these languages to build this beautiful application in this mern application i'm going to create a simple login and registration system with redux now for the beginners this project is very important because i'm going to explain each and every step from the scratch once you finish this project you will be able to create your own mern project so let me show you what we are going to create in this project we're going to create this beautiful form the login and the registration form with react you can notice here when i click on the registration without the page reload i'm going to get my registration form when i click on the login without any reload i'm going to get my login form using this registration i'm going to create a new user and register it in my mongodb database so for example let's say if i just specify here admin then i'm going to specify here email admin at the rate gmail.com then i'm going to specify password admin123 and i'm going to verify that password so i'm going to specify here admin123 when i click on register it will redirect me to the login page and just for that i'm going to specify my email here admin at the rate gmail.com and then i'm going to specify my password which is admin123 when i click on the login button i'm going to successfully log in in my mern application here i'm going to have my title of the application and here i can create my own to-do list at the top right corner you can notice i have here a logout button when i click on this logout button i can successfully log out and redirect to the login page so let me explain what you are going to learn in this project we can understand how to create this beautiful login system then we will see how to use jwt token to authenticate the user then we're going to understand how to use redux in this project we will understand how redux can be useful to build one application then we're going to understand how to create a backend with mvc pattern then we're going to understand how to use dot env files to store some useful details and then we're going to work with useful modules like browser route course npm run all and so on we're going to install some useful modules in this project and i'm going to show you how you can use that modules and just for that you're also going to learn how to create this beautiful design in react application with just a simple html and sas so there is many things you are about to learn follow me to create this complete project i'm going to start really from the scratch so in the next lecture i'm going to start creating this mern application